I would hope you would hold that ginger. <laughs> she tends to hold things like a linebacker. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, just, just a little bit. Hi everybody, I'm Michael. Today I'm here with Andrea, my client, who you may recall from a video where we did a houseplant patio makeover for her and we helped her with some houseplants. But today we're bringing her over here to our place to talk to you about how to get your Hoya to flower, your Hoya tricolor. So, what do you think, Mike? I think you look beautiful. Thank look you. Look at these flowers. Thank you. So, you ready to dig in? I'm ready. Let's grow. Let's grow. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm just super excited because, as you know, I've talked about our Hoya Tricolor many times. We've done several videos, and these were all rescues from our mama plant, as you, as you, as those of you who have subscribed will know from watching those videos. And again, I want to thank all of you who have stopped by. Really appreciate that. Those who have also left super thanks. Thank you so, so much. But on this plant, I can't tell you how much I love the tricolor. This goes by the botanical name, Hoya Carnosa Tricolor. She is native to? Miami? No. Brazil? But, no. Can I keep going or you want me to, you you want me to fill you, you in? You fill me in. Eastern Asia and they put shrimp on the barbie. Australia. Australia. <clears throat> this is where this, this wonderful succulent, this trailing and or climbing succulent is native to. She's more of an epiphyte. And what we want to share with you today is that this plant has a wonderful blooming cycle and it is a fast grower. I want to start with that. All of these little babies you see here were grown from our mama plant who was grown in soil out on our patio. Mama is not flowering, but this plant, you may recall, we gifted this to Andrea as a surprise for your houseplant patio makeover. And she's getting a little bit more light and just within the dust last month, right? Yeah. She just start, started going crazy for you. Look at these blooms. They are, she is just doing it, doing it right. We have the beginnings of a bloom and bringing you up close so you can see these as we talk about them. This is how the bloom will start. It'll, actually, it will start off down here. We have another peduncle and again we'll we'll zoom in for you so you can see oh. but there's another one you're going to have so this is how they oh this they is on run. my plant on yours you lucky dog ours being grown now hers is grown on her patio so it's it's a screened in patio so she's getting a little bit more humidity hers is grown in leca and she's she's using the same fertilizer that we we recommend for our hoyas there's a liquid 20 20 20 but we're also now recommending that right before April, right at around the April um, fertilizer uh, period of time, you want to fertilize these more in the summer months going into the fall, We can you can add a bloom booster. And we'll put that information for you in a minute. We'll do a little bit of care instructions to help your your uh, written care instructions to help your, your Hoya bloom. But they're such wonderful houseplants. This will trail and do wonderful cascading uh, things down, down and over. You have yours on a on a table, yes, your center I table, do. yes, and it's and it's more of a centerpiece now. Your, your, your it space. is. So you get yeah. you get this wonderful, wonderful flower that will that will come out of these wonderful pink with with dark burgundy centers, and it comes out in a bouquet. Yeah, and beautiful. so what what I want to also note is that this has a wonderful chocolatey, almost chocolatey mixed with maybe a little bit of honey scent. It's a, it's a soft scent. Right now, this is, I'm picking up a soft scent, but at other times, it's very pronounced. Andrew, you're not, you weren't picking up so much of a scent on it, but it is, uh, it, it's, it's just so cool because the Hoya, the Hoya is just known for these spectacular flowers, but they also give you this wonderful scent, and that's a unique scent. And they form, they form off of peduncles, they're called, and the, these little stubby little arms that come off. Now, if you look over here, this is new growth. This is where new leaves will come out. And it often looks like this part is just a part of the plant that's dying off. No, this is how the Hoyas will always send out new growth. They come out with these little lines. So you may think that this is a new peduncle starting, but peduncles come out a little more stubby. And we'll show you on ours, which we have as a hanging basket over here. And we'll show you, we'll show you where we have her. And she has a wall, about a three foot wall, but we're, she's facing west, so she's getting a lot of light and she's going to town. She's got a big meaty, a big meaty peduncle coming out here. 
and we'll show you how wow. how that that looks so you can kind of see for yourself as these develop it's a it's just it's just so pretty and the other thing we love about this plant is that the leaves will just do their thing there'll be some will be green and white what are yours doing now? Getting a little bit of purple. I'm seeing a little pink. Uh huh. A little bit of pink. Yeah. yeah sorry, it's more of a pinkish hue. Yeah. And sometimes they just go white. We have. Oh, by the way, we have one over there, and she's going bananas, and she's got a little peduncle starting. Uh, and that one, that Hoya, has these wonderful all white leaves now, and she. That's what we love about the tricolor because three colors. You're going to get this nice like deep green this creamy yellow white edge and then sometimes you'll just get this pink that's pink or even um a, a lot of pink in your flower okay. i'm sorry in your leaves it's Beautiful. such a wonderful wonderful house plant so we recommend on use on how you use them is to more or less place them in a, in a raised like totem or, or container where you can get them up and where they can cascade down or we have uh, this is in a hanging basket that we have over here or on a plant shelf the other one that we have uh, in our kitchen area and we've got this little baby this is this is the great grandbaby because grandma uh, gr no well, yeah mama grand this is grandbaby grandma was the mother of all these hoyas that we had on our uh, our patio and again from you can see from our earlier videos that one was grown in soil and got attacked by oh mealybugs you Did know, I get you me? got it. She's gone. Oh, she's I, learned so much. How many years have we known each other? It's, 30, it's the closest, the closest years, of friends. 30 years. 30 years. And how many times have we wanted to strangle each other? Oh, every other day. Yes. yes. But with love. With love. And what, why do I talk about how long we've known each other? I want to talk about the, oh, oh we're talking about mealy time. Bugs. Mealy bugs and Andrew known because when we would go out to lunch, I'd always tell her, say, what's the name of this plant? And you'd say, cocoa plum and she started to get them right and so she knows a lot about plants yep. just by me force it's forcing it upon her being friends with the landscape architect has its benefits mm -hmm. thank you so grandmother outside grown in soil ours got attacked achilles heel of hoya especially the tricolors that we have found is that they get attacked by mealybugs and ours was so bad so badly infested that we did a, a dunk. And we're gonna provide that information for you here. It's also on that other video. And we'll provide all those other videos as links uh, for you. But we wanna give you updates on some things to encourage you for helping yours to bloom. And that's what this video is more centering on. So for Mama, what we did was we did a dunk and actually submerged her in neem oil and some soap and some, some alcohol mix. And that got rid of the mealybugs. And we, we didn't know that if that would work, so we took cuttings. And that's where all of these came from, and yours now. And the one over here. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you over there so you can see, see her, because she's got a new peduncle coming out. Okay, here we are at our plant shelf in our kitchen where we have some more of our Hoya tricolors. I'm gonna zoom down real quick and then come back up for you. So Andrew, can you point to the tricolor up on top? There's, this is still a cutting from our mama outside. And then over to the far left is the Hoya <laughs> Crimson Princess. Andrew's trying to kill our hummingbird. That's the Hoya Crimson Princess. So you can see the, the, the really different color, right? The bright yellow. Oh, no. it's, it's a yellow. It's a gorgeous it's, color. Yeah, it's like creamy yellow. Creamy, green, creamy yellow. Yellow green almost. Yeah. I don't know. It's beautiful. So it's that's Dijon. But she, <laughs> Dijon. Oh, beautiful words you use. So. She grows much slower than our others. Down here is another Hoya Crimson Queen that we have, and I'm gonna zoom in. If you could point, do you see the all white leaf, Andrea? Can you point to that on her? Look at that, you all. Isn't that spectacular? So pretty. It is. And her sister up here also has, it'll be hard for you to see, but way on the top there. Yeah, and I'll try to, Oh, thank you, Andrea. Look at those, they're so pretty. The main thing we wanna show you right now is that she has a peduncle forming and she's gonna get a new, we're gonna get a new flower. Look at that, she's developing her peduncle. So we've got several in our home, several in our home starting to get 
peduncles and gonna get some bouquet. We're gonna get a bouquet of flowers soon. We're so excited. Okay, now let's just rotate back to where we were. And one of our other videos, a little bit about how you can propagate in water. Oh, actually, hang on there, kids. I got another surprise for you. I did do, I did do a cutting here. And look who's popping up there. Who's that? A peduncle. Uh huh. From a cutting, and I was just gonna do a a updated on doing uh, how to put your hoya and propagate because uh, you can do them in water, but we, we've been liking to move into to doing it with water and LECA. And I put them in there from this plant, we were over there, I just trimmed her because she was growing so long down in front of our, our liquor cabinet. And you know, I got to get to the- Oh, you do. Got happy hour, Myra, you got to get to happy hour. So I put them in, now she's sending out a peduncle and I think another one somewhere. I'm like, you look at you, you silly goose, right here. We've got another one, you all. And I'm like, you silly goose. So. I am so thrilled and they're starting to put out a little bit of roots, but I only just recently did this. And we like to do, lately, we've liked to do this and we've just done this by trial and error. We put our, we put a, you know, water that has set out for several days and we fill it up with some LECA and then we just take up, take a cutting at an inner node and we'll, we'll show you some of that in this video here. And then you place it in this and you just set it, let it sit for about a month. It takes some time for the roots, but we found out by putting in the LECA, I don't know if this creates a great, uh, a biofilm that helps the, the roots be encouraged to grow uh, and they tend to root a little bit faster than we have found in water but but if you're if you're rooting in water or if you're rooting in water with LECA you want to put them in an opaque container do you know why uh, you don't want light to get to the roots oopsie sorry dropped it oh it's good you don't exactly you don't want to get light light to the roots because, not to the roots, to the water in there because uh, the light will cause, put her over here, the light will cause algae. Uh -huh. And that will rob some of the nutrients. Gotcha. We want all those nutrients getting right so into the I'm gonna turn plant. her a little bit like that. Or maybe I'll turn her this way so you can see her on the table, hopefully. And I'll keep turning her. My cameraman is asking us to turn her, and I think we're good. So, we'll, like I said, we'll zoom in. And so we're gonna have another, I'm telling you, Hoyas are the bomb. Oh, by the way, you'll see another video from us on some of the best house plants for beginners. This takes an honorable mention. Just saying, wow. a little spoiler, just okay. so you know. Okay. But the number one, this is a total segue to a sidebar. The number one plant for, for beginners is gotta be pothos. And just please check to our channel because we're gonna have that video up. It may, it may come and sync, sync up with this one when we post it. But I brought this little, this little baby out for that video. Because these, these are very easy to propagate. They're very easy to grow. They, grow. they grow relatively fast. These are fast growers. That's another thing about That's this true. Hoya. They're pretty fast growers. Um, there's, you know, pothos grows leaps and bounds faster than this. But for a Hoya, this is a very fast. There are some other fast, Hoyas that that are out there, and we're gonna we're gonna do some videos for you on those. But we also have some of the slowest, I mean, slowest growing hoyas. Uh, wink, wink. You've always seen these variegated carries sitting here, and of course we didn't have a, a little uh, um, inner nodes placed in there, so these are really just gonna sit there forever. But we just love the heart shape, and it's just so pretty. But this has done nothing, and you've seen for our videos going back a year and a half. That's all. They just smile for you, and it's a little hard. But this is a Hoya, another type of Hoya. Yep. And we love to have, and we're jelly jelly of the folks out there who have some of these that I see them that are quite full, beautiful, beautiful Hoya. So again, we, we uh, want to stress that this is a very easy house plan as long as you just look out for the mealybugs. Mm. And the mealybugs are these white, gross little things. Now, I know insects have their place in the world, but we don't want them to hurt our plants and they will proliferate very quickly. A, a female can lay several hundred to 500 eggs, I believe, in one cycle, and, and then they reproduce very quickly. So you have to stay on, you have to stay on these, and you, if you do see one or two that just somehow came in from another house plant that, that you purchased, um, you can uh, take care of it with a Q-tip, dip it in alcohol, 
and they get into the nodes and touch the touch the, uh, the the insect and it will kill it. Or you can spray neem oil and that will have the same effect. But I, again, I just can't tell you how much I adore these. And that chocolate scent, definitely smell it. It's just crazy. It's crazy. It's so freaking pretty. It's beautiful. And different Hoyas will have different flowering characteristics. They all have this, tend to have this bouquet. They all tend to form off these peduncles. Now, when she's done flowering, don't do anything to the peduncle. Let it sit there and she will kick back, take some more energy in. And that's where the, we can talk a little bit now about what fertilizers you could use to help for that. And they'll bloom again from those same peduncles. So, so you don't want to cut them off and think it's just like a dead branch or something. That is just it will hanging out after these fall off. She'll just hang there and do her thing and then she'll bloom again. Now we're here in just the beginning of summer. And so that's when this, this is getting, you're getting a lot more light down here in South Florida. So in your patio faces south by southwest, as I recall, and you're getting a lot of that night, natural light. Now she, you don't want to get these in full sun. You want to be careful about that. Right. Yours is far enough back because it's, it's back. on the table close to your sliders. Right. And that's great. And ours, we have one over here on the north, or I'm sorry, the, the, the north side, yes, but we also have some grow lights. And this little cutie's up here getting the west, but indirect, and so she's getting a lot to, to kick in her blooms. But it's only because we're getting so much more daylight because sunset's around 8.30 tonight. And in wintertime, you know, it's like six or, you know, even sooner. So that's why it kind of encourages the plant to bloom. The higher humidity definitely is helping yours going to bloom right now because yours are several several weeks ahead of ours. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I sent a photo to Michael and I said, is this supposed to happen? It was completely surprising to me. And I was over the moon happy because I wanted to do this video because ours started to have the peduncle and I'm so impatient because I want to get videos out for you all. And I'm like, oh, maybe I could show the video from one, uh, was it this one, the one over there that I had flowered last time. And then Andrew sent the picture. I'm like, oh my God, you must come. You must come because we got to spend time because we haven't spent enough time lately because Andrew has retired and has no time, <laughs> which is which is the strangest thing on the planet. It's true. Every day is Saturday for her. And every day she's you're just chocker block full of meetings. You just have to make time. I'm one of your best of best of besties. You're the best friend ever. <laughs> so she says. It's true. Uh, back to fertilizing if i may you will like to want to fertilize from april i think it's april june and april may june and august or you can go actually we've been amending this lately april through september and adding a simple 2020 20. we like the jacks brand because uh, it has micronutrients and there's also a bloom booster from jacks and i believe it's a 10 30 20 and the center number helps plants bloom and that's a, that is the where phosphorus phosphorus helps encourage blooming for most pl flowering plants is to have that center number a little bit higher you can you can weaken the solution but we haven't had to do that on ours we've always used just 20 20 20 full strength when we've added it to our to our fur, uh, to our plants but we have also i mean things happen i for, we've got forgotten to put in fertilizer and they still just keep going and going and going but ideally, that's what you would like to do. Now, speaking of fertilizing, I'm not talking about fertilizing in soil. That, that will apply. But these are all of these are all grown in LECA, which is a light, ag, light clay aggregate. This one's grown in LECA. Andrews is grown in LECA. Mm -hmm. this, this adorable one here is grown in LECA. Ours on the shelf up there is grown in LECA. These are in LECA and water right now. And for us, we have found that the Hoyas do grow better in LECA than in soil. Don't know, it's an epiphyte, so it wants to be out and up in trees typically. LECA is a semi-hydroponic, there's water in the bottom of this container down in here, mm. and these things just sit just above that, but these pebbles allow a lot of airflow, so it's maybe giving it that, that maybe a little bit of moisture, even though we're inside, and a, a lot of airflow. So we have found that these tricolors are like Hoya, I mean Hoya, LECA, bring it on i'm digging it because <laughs> these babies are going to go right into another like a, a, a semi-hydroponic way of growing but you can grow them in soil mom is outside right now we just checked her she doesn't have any peduncles um she's growing up the trellis again 
and she's getting so much more light. So I think it it may be that the soil and the soil mix we have is very, very light. For, for those of you who want to grow your, your Hoya tricolor in soil, you, you want a very loamy, loamy, well-drained mix. And we'll provide that for you in a minute on the, on the written care instructions uh, so you can get that, that ratio. And we've, we've been updating that so you, can, so you can have the latest and greatest to help you with your plants. But I, I, I think I touched base on all the, the things I wanted to before we rotate over into written care instructions. But I know you're a curious one, so I don't know if you want to have, oh, hmm. you're thinking about something. I am. Do you have any questions about yours or what, what to do to keep yours doing well or anything in general you'd like to well, ask or offer? Um, offer. I've done nothing to encourage this. That's why we love these plants because they are right. set it and forget it for the most part. Yeah, and it's been nothing but a delightful plant. I love it as the centerpiece of my patio. And uh, she do love your polka dot too. Oh, I do love. Oh, I love the polka dot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I should turn like this into a frown face now. Like, oh my God, Andrea, I'm right here. I can hear you. Hear you. In terms of questions, um, you know, I, I was curious about when dinner would be served, but that's not relevant, is it? Who's treating who? That depends. We could go out to dinner down here if you'd like. Oh, we'll save that discussion for later. It has really nothing to do with our video. Nothing here. at now all. Now it's on my head, and I'm going to probably forget to say something. I'm sure I now I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. Anything plant related? Anything? Oh, plants. Anything to the to this to this plant that um, we're. I would hope you would hold that ginger. <laughs> she tends to hold things like a linebacker. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, just just another. Yes. But again, this is this is getting ready to bloom, and yeah. and again we we'll, we will show you all this so you can see. I don't know if I put my hand. Oops, I put my hand behind. It may, because it's pink on pink, it may not really pop, but um, but this will look like this. And it's so pretty. Oh, I'm loving I'm, this. Yeah. Totally. And, and what I, and it gives us this tropical feel, you know, it's just this like, a, a plant like that wants in, to make you happy. This is a plant that wants to make, yes. that makes me happy. Every time we see it, I just, and I'm crazy about Hoyas, but I swear I have, for, okay. I, they, they're gonna get all jealous. I know they're all like, I can hear you because you know we love our oxalis too. They're so cool and exotic. But the, the Hoya curtisii, we've done a video on that and that's the one you saw over here and you were yep. admiring. It's amazing. Real tiny, it's like a waterfall, this dark green waterfall. Yeah. That's a beautiful Hoya. Ours hasn't flowered yet, but uh, we actually took cuttings from Mama and put another one in and like, and that one's tear, taking off, but she's about 14 feet from the window. so. It could be that she's not getting enough sunlight, but but, but that's going to be a, a, a wonder to see when she's flying. And that's a wonderful Hoya too. Very, very easy to maintain. Should I be playing music for the Hoya? Something like <clears throat> Hawaiian, let's very say. Oh, very white. I don't want it to, you know, get too, too frizzy. Too risque. No. <laughs> um, I don't think anything that makes you happy is going to make your plant happy. Okay. They take okay. in carbon dioxide. Yes. You breathe that out, and when you're laughing and doing it, you know, we always dance when we have music yes. together. Yes. No matter where we are. When we did your houseplant video, we did. We we're paying for the plants. We, have, we put the clip in there where we're just sort of dancing around exactly. as we're going to pay. Yeah. Ha offering a little bit of, of carbon dioxide will be, would they, she would just love it. I don't know, do you have names? Have you decided to name yours? Uh, Natasha. This is Natasha. Oh, what yes. a wonderful! Oh my gosh, yes. our, my my nephew's wife is Natasha. My grand really sister. Oh, my nephew's wife is my sister in law. My nephew's I don't know second. It's <laughs> I don't know, but she's wonderful. Natasha. Natasha. Oh, that's a wonderful name. Doesn't she look like Natasha? She does. Yes. I have, I haven't named ours. I feel horrible. Huh? Like, I need to come up. We need to come up with well, names. Well, if this is Natasha, that's Boris. No, they're, they're, she's female. Oh, sorry. Females. Sorry. Sorry. No, so you, not Boris. This but... one's gender fluid, so <laughs> I would call her Boris Serena. <laughs> <laughs> so, God's truth, uh, we get this ridiculous all the time. 
all the time. So thank you for bearing with us on that. What we're going to do now, if you don't have any more ridiculous questions, no, no I don't. Serena, I'm not going to call her that. Yes, you are. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, we're going to rotate over into written care instructions so you can get all the summarized on how you can best encourage your your tricolor to to flower, and then we'll come back and do a quick summary at the end. Okay. So you ready? Let's go on to that Sounds step. Sounds good. Okay. We want to thank you so much for joining us. So from Andrea, yep, myself, and Natasha here, we want to say and thanks. The little baby. And the little, yeah, the grandbaby. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family. We post videos weekly. Thanks.